Weather Authority forecast. We warn you first with Chief Meteorologist Chase Menendez. Oh, good evening, everybody. We've got some pretty cloudy skies overhead in Big Spring right now. Also, a very, very nice look at the skyline. Things are pretty calm, pretty quiet, a little bit breezy out there in most of the basin, but not so rainy anymore. West Texas State Bank Sky Tracker on top of the beautiful historic hotel settles in Big Spring, giving us a good look at those conditions. And thanks to the rain, by the way, we've cooled down pretty significantly. 74 degrees for Midland Odessa. A little bit chilly, if you ask me. Not quite as chilly as what we've got in Marfa at 68, tying for the cool spot in Alpine. And it's also 68 degrees. It is pretty cool out there right now, and actually we've dropped off pretty substantially over where we were earlier today. Temperatures picked up to 86 degrees for this afternoon. Compare that to the normal of 89 for this time of year, and you can see we're a little bit below average. Our lows actually picking up pretty well above average, so that may be a little bit curious to you. That's just because we've got a lot of moisture out there. We've got a lot of humidity, and that's keeping a very narrow range of temperatures. We're not really warming up and cooling down by that much because that water vapor is absorbing the sun's energy as we warm up in the afternoon, and it's also keeping that heat trapped close to the surface and not allowing us to cool down too much either. So tomorrow morning, get ready for another one of those muggy mornings with temperatures a little bit above average to begin the day thanks to this moisture still flowing in and meeting up with this wave of energy that's still traveling through West Texas. Now that wave of energy is responsible for kicking off some pretty significant thunderstorms earlier in the day. We've still got a couple of those thunderstorms in place, and we've got one strong one actually, or used to be a strong one, looked like it wanted to be a strong one right around Andrews, but now that's giving way to just a little bit of rain. And just like we saw earlier in the day, no real hail popping up anymore. We do have just a little bit of rain still lingering on. Now, most of that rain is finally phasing out those greenish colors kind of evaporating before our eyes. And of course, no hail out there right either in the southeastern edge of the basin. Now, going forward, we don't have too much in the way of weather alerts anymore. Any flood advisories have expired and they uh, will not likely be reissued for the rest of the evening because this rain is really just getting out of the way pretty quickly. Now again, our high temperatures today below average as a result of that rain. 86 compared to the normal of 89. We came in a good three degrees shy of average because we did pick up a pretty substantial amount of rain. Over a tenth of an inch for Midland Odessa. Same total for Fort Stockton. A little over a tenth of an inch for Wink and for Pecos. A quarter for Marfa and over three quarters of an inch for Alpine. So it did get to be pretty rainy in some places. I do anticipate a little bit more rain for tomorrow. Tomorrow, we could be dealing with some more flooding concerns for tomorrow afternoon. So do watch out for that. Be careful driving around because we have more chances for rain. And we've already seen a pretty significant amount for this afternoon. As that rain collects into the ground, it's not going to take as much to initiate some more flooding concerns for tomorrow. So again, be careful driving around because we have more chances for rain in the afternoon time. We'll actually wake up to some pretty chilly conditions in the upper 60s, warming to a high temperature in the low 80s because we've got more rain on the way. Now, anything left right now is actually moving out pretty quickly, but we may see a couple of lingering showers, especially on the eastern edge of the basin by around 2 a.m. Now we'll wake up with some cloudy skies, but aside from that, not a whole lot of activity until we reach about 4 p.m. Then we'll get a couple more isolated thunderstorms, first developing the Trans-Pecos and then spreading throughout the rest of West Texas. I think Odessa Midland actually has a pretty fair shot at some more thunderstorms tomorrow, even though this model really not showing off any of those thunderstorms. And once we get to the evening hours, we may see a little more activity in southeast New Mexico, but aside from that, really pretty calm conditions. Now, if we do get any rainfall tomorrow, not likely to become severe. I'm not worried about any hail tomorrow, but because we had so much rain today and we've got another 60% chance for more rain tomorrow, flooding will be our main concern, so please drive carefully. Now that chance drops in half on Wednesday at 30%, while temperatures pick up from 82 Tuesday to 85 Wednesday, all the way up to 88 by Friday, and then we clear out a nice sunny weekend in store for us. We got our fill of the rain for today, so I'm excited about the sunshine this weekend. Yes, mm -hmm. it feels amazing outside. I like the chilly weather. Of course, yes, we need to watch out for yeah. flooding any time it rains. And some people don't have to put on their sprinklers for the next few days. <laughs> there you go. That's a good way I to look at it. I wonder that person maybe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, James, thanks. Thanks. Well, a big cleanup.